Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so it's Sunday afternoon, approaching that sort of time where you're going to have to start thinking about evening, latter part of the evening on Sunday, and then, of course, Monday morning. So thinking about Monday morning. So are you overthinking? Are you stressed? Well, go for a walk. Hmm. I know that sounds really simple and probably quite mundane, but do you know what? It works. The power of taking yourself away from a situation, whether it be thinking too much in your head or whether it be that you've had a stressful day, just taking a simple half an hour out of your day and going for a walk. Be spontaneous. Don't even plan it. Just do it. Because what this does is it takes you out of that situation, what you're currently thinking or currently stressing over. And even just the very simple elements, like you will become more aware of like the weather, what's going on around you, the people you will see. It really does just completely take you out of a situation. And I've learned this because I am a very naturally stressful person. I, I hands down, I don't think I could be more stressed, to be quite honest with you. Throw on the nature of my job in finance, what I do as well. Very stressful. Um, lots of sort of almost like forensic or um, investigate, uh, sort of investigate, can't even speak, investigating. Uh, lots of that type of work in regards to finance and, and figures and number work and things. Um, and lots to pull together. So it can often be quite stressful. I only have, uh, last May, I lost my grandmother. So I'm... I'm a storm of emotions every single day, to be quite honest with you. Sometimes I can handle it, sometimes I can't. So I get very, very stressed. I'm a natural worrier and I worry non-stop um, about everything, probably even a stone in the road, to be quite honest with you, but you can't help how you are. So it was probably, I would, I would, well, I've really thrown myself into it, where I've, rather than it being spontaneous now, I really look forward to it. And I'd say definitely over the last six months, I look forward to this time, whether it be 10 minutes just around the block where I live, or whether it be an hour or so, or a long walk not planned, or anything like that at all, just where my mood takes me type thing. And it's just me, I always go on my own, because I find if you have somebody else with you, you end up starting to talk about those worries and those stresses and things. So it's nice just to go with you and your thoughts, and what I find is that if you are overthinking or if you are stressing, and one of my favourite times of the uh, the sort of the seasons to do it is around this time of the winter, where it's colder, where there's a cold breeze, and you know what? Sometimes, sometimes even something as simple. I wear hearing aids, so I get really stressed out with that quite a lot. My hearing has changed recently. Um, I've just had a hearing assessment, and there wasn't great news from that either. So what am I, what I actually do, and people are going to think this is crazy, what I actually do is I take my hearing aids out and I go for a walk with the cool breeze, sometimes with just the cool air blowing across my ear, blowing across your skin, and you just think to yourself, it's, it makes you obviously a little bit more colder, but it makes you more aware of the elements and what's around you, rather than thinking of the stresses and what's going on in your head. And then if I walk past anybody, I say good afternoon or good morning, whatever the time of the day it is, or I say hello. I try not to go into conversation, actually, because don't forget, this is my time. And this will be your time to do this. So if you're overthinking or if you're stressing, I urge you, go for a walk. You don't have to think, oh, I really can't be doing exercise or anything right now. Yes, number one, it's great for you physically, but it's also good for you mentally to switch off from everything what you're doing, whether that be stress, whether that be work, whether that be a real difficult situation you're finding yourself in at the moment, whether that be with family, work, what have you. Taking a moment, whether it's five minutes or an hour and a half or even two hours, if you can sort of allow that time to just allow yourself and just the day to take you wherever you feel fit. So for example, very often I will just leave my house, I won't have a plan, and I will just walk at the end of the road. And then often I'll find myself sort of with, and often this sounds crazy, doesn't it? Sometimes if it's a little bit sort of, oh, it looks like it's going to rain type thing, then I will take the longer route to start sort of just giving myself a little bit more of time to appreciate what's going on around. And you know, even the greyest of skies can sometimes be absolutely stunningly beautiful to look at. And you've never noticed these things at all before. And when you're walking around, you may come across an animal, or you may come across something which just takes your attention and it really just spurs you off of everything what you're worrying about and thinking about. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Just a simple walk, just a simple venture of being spontaneous can really help. But you know what, it can. And what I try to do is I try to just take a few deep breaths 
in through my nose, out through my mouth, and I just try to be really mindful, and really just try to concentrate on the now, and, you know, it's great, it really, really works. As I say, my favourite time to do it is around this time of the year, winter, um, I absolutely love doing that, I love going after work, so I start at 6 in the morning, sometimes about 10 to 6 in the morning, um, I work from home, so of course that has its stresses when you don't necessarily see somebody, or anybody, to be quite honest with you, in relation to work, um, and then what I do is I finish work for about 2, half past 2, and then... I go for my walk then, and that just clears my head, it kind of, it puts an end to the day, and when I'm on a Sunday evening now, like what we're approaching right now, and I think to myself, do you know what, I used to dread sometimes the Monday rush in a, finance, a busy finance department, and, um, and everybody's sort of being quite down, quite blue, and actually now I'm really positive, because I, have, I think to myself, well actually, you're going to be getting out later on, you're going to be clearing your thoughts, you're going to be really concentrating on just the right now and everything you walk into. And you know, it's wonderful, it's an absolutely, it's a beautiful thing to do, it really, really is. Because not only do you switch off from worries and fears and goodness knows what, you have that clarity of mind. So I love writing and I am studying some courses from home and I love studying, love education. So I'm doing all sorts of things, business management, uh, other things around finance, business, that type of thing. Um, I'm still studying an accountancy too. So all of this going on, if I'm stuck or I'm thinking to myself or I'm doing some writing, I think, do you know, I can't think what to write. I'll go away. I'll go for a walk. I'll take some time out. It clears my head and then I come back and it just flows. It's amazing. Another time I really like doing it is, of course, uh, going for a walk when it is the summertime and of course it's a perfect amazing blue sky because I always find that it just makes everything so much more positive so much more wonderful and it just makes us feel happy when the sun's out whether it's a winter's day and it's dry and it's cold but the sun's out and it's a clear sky that makes us feel great in the summer when there's warmth on our skin from that amazing clear sky and that sun in, the, in just taking over is just amazing so winter sun for me love autumn as well but um but yeah just just take time to do something for you so if you're sat there and you're overthinking and you're stressed it's because you need to take yourself out of that situation even if it's just for five minutes go for a brief walk take some deep breaths take in those surroundings around you and honestly it does help Anyway, thank you very much for being here. It means the world that you've shared this clip with me. And you know what? It really does work. So from my heart to yours, give yourself a little break and go for a, just a, go for a five minute stroll. It really does sort you out, helps your mind. It's good for your mental health and it's certainly good for your physical health as well. Okay. Thanks very much for sharing this with me. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.